Can you just tell me how you came up with the idea and how you executed it? <laughs> it started out as a joke. Yeah. My uh, youngest son was asked, what do you want to do with the extra engine and trans that we have? And his comment was, throw it in the back seat. So the next weekend, I cut the floor out to see what I had to do. Right. And while we were building it, they said, you'll never get it running. And we did. Well, here it is, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, how does it exactly work? Is it just that... Uh, the only thing that connects the two engines is the throttle cable. Okay. They're both separate identities, including the wiring. This has its own electrical system, cooling system, transmission, all drive frames in the back. Right. Everything is the same in the front, but a separate entity. Cool. So it's... And they work together once they're both fired up. I can also run them one at a time. Right. Either one. Huh. Are they the same engine? Same 3.4s, but different fuel injection and different transmissions. Right. Have you, have you ever run into any issues with it? or? <laughs> the only issue is, like I said, the body flexing. It's twisting the quarter panels in, and they're beating on the trunk lid. Right. Because I took the structure out across the back at the bottom of the window. Right. The fit so I put that space bar in there to keep it apart, and it's working, but it's a little late. <laughs> <Not sure. Yeah. laughs> awesome setup. So I park out in the back of the parking lot. There was nobody around me. Nobody. There's so many possible spots. But Mr. 97 Kids and his goddamn Toyota minivan had to park right next to me. So this is how you have to park 